Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing amazing today. And I hope you guys noticed something different about me. I got a haircut and I'm so happy. I was always really happy having really long hair, but I had like so many issues with my hair. It was an even, I had a lot of dead ends. I explained everything in the last video that I posted. So if you haven't checked that one out, definitely check it out after this video, but I'm so happy. It is so healthy, it's bouncy, it's thick. I am so obsessed with my haircut but anyway let's get into the video so today I just want to compare the difference between a very inexpensive sweatsuit and pair of sweatpants hoodies to a more pricier sweatpants and hoodies I know not everybody has 70 or 80 dollars to spend on a sweatsuit or if you're planning to buy a sweatsuit from Walmart and you're not sure about what you're getting then I just wanted to make this video and put it out there for people like you because I was definitely in the same boat when I was purchasing the two sweats that I am going to be showing you today. So they are two very completely different price points and I'm sorry if you hear the sirens outside, I do live in New York City. <laughs> but they are two different price points and they are definitely very different quality. But I'm just gonna be taking you through everything. So let's get into it. So this is the Walmart sweatsuit. I just got a Fruit of the Loom pair of sweatpants and then the matching Fruit of the Loom sweatshirt. So these are from the men's section. I got a men's size medium, and then this is a men's size small. It ended up being a little bit smaller than I expected. I thought it was gonna be a little bit baggier since it's men's sizes, but it's fine. And when I first got these, the fabric was actually a lot thinner than I expected it to be, but these were $7.44 each, so I guess you get what you pretty much pay for. Even though they are pretty thin, they do have fleece on the inside, so these are are on the warmer side just because of the added fleece and they are pretty comfortable the pants have an elastic at the bottom and then they have an elastic right up here in the middle along with the drawstring which is great if you just need to tighten this but I don't and then the sweatshirt just comes with this banded bottom and then it comes banded at the wrist which is great I love the crew neck they also had a hooded version which I was going to get, but I kind of wanted something a little bit more crew neck instead. So I'm glad that I went with these. I do wish that I sized up in the pants um, just because this isn't the fit that I wanted. I kind of wanted a little bit baggier of a fit, but for the days where I'm not looking to be in very baggy sweatpants, these will definitely be great. And for $7.44, I feel like I really can't complain. They are pretty warm. Will they be the warmest thing in the winter? Absolutely not. But I feel like they definitely get the job done if you just want to lounge around and be comfortable. If you're ordering from Walmart, don't assume that you're getting the thickest quality of sweatpants. I feel like websites like Pretty Little Thing and Misguided have thicker sweats than these. So if you're looking for something a little bit thicker and better for the winter, then I would not get these. But if you just want something to lounge around in, then go right ahead. So I was initially just gonna show you guys the other one black uh, sweatsuit that I got from Walmart, but I just got this in the mail. I'm going a little bit Walmart crazy and a little bit sweatsuit crazy, but it's okay, it's the fall, and I need all the sweats I can get. So this is from Champion, and this hoodie is either Hanes or another brand, I'll put it up on the screen, but I got these pants because I wanted, like I said, a baggier look, and these are definitely the fit that I was going for. However, if you're shopping from Walmart, be careful and really, really read what you are looking at and about to buy because I thought that these were gonna have fleece on the inside and they don't have fleece at all. So they are not warm at all, which sucks for the winter time because I'm gonna have to wear like a pair of leggings or something underneath them. But when it comes to the look that I'm going for, these are definitely it. They have the elastic at the bottom and then they have the elastic at the waist. And then this is what it looks like. It has like this really thick elastic and it also has a drawstring just in case you wanna tighten it up, which I probably will be. As you can see, these are pretty high waist, which is great. It's definitely exactly the look that I'm going for and I just decided to purchase this hooded sweatshirt. So it does have a hood and I wanted this just because I wanted a black hoodie to just throw on. And it has the pockets, it has the elastic at the waist. And as you can tell, I definitely got these a size up from the other 
um, sweats that I bought because that's definitely the look that I was going for. But this sweatshirt has fleece on the inside of the pocket just to keep your hands warm. And then it also has fleece on the inside of the sweatshirt. So it's great. The sweatshirt is definitely gonna keep you warm all winter, but the pants won't. But to be honest, like I said with the other sweats, even though these don't have fleece, you're pretty much getting what you pay for. Read the fine print when you're ordering from Walmart, just so that you know exactly what you're gonna get. But when it comes to the look, I love this sweatsuit. And this is my Aritzia sweatsuit. And if you saw my Aritzia haul that I posted not too long ago, then you would know this is my absolute favorite sweatsuit ever. Oh my God, the price point, very high. This is the most that I've spent on a sweatsuit to date in my entire life. But all of those videos that you see on YouTube of influencers just raving about these guys, they are telling the truth. This is the most comfortable sweatsuit I've ever bought in my entire life. It's extremely thick. It's so soft. The inside is lined with fleece and it also has pockets. It has elastic at the bottom, but I believe they have different versions. These just have the elastic at the bottom and I feel like I've seen some with the jogger um, pant hole. And then this hoodie, oh my God, don't even get me started. The fit, like look at that sleeve. That is a gorgeous sleeve for a sweatshirt. Um, I love how oversized it is. The elastic waistband is a very cute detail too. Just the fact that this scrunches up a little bit. So cute. And then if you look at my neck, so this crisscross detail, it doesn't have like the drawstring up here for you to be able to tie it up. But this detail up here is very pretty. And I love the fact that it does that and it comes this high up just because it covers my neck a little bit more. And it is definitely very helpful for when it's cold outside. This color, oh my God, I am just in love with this shade. It's gorgeous and I haven't been able to find a sweatsuit that comes in this color besides like pretty little thing and misguided but I don't really like to shop from them too much just because they're kind of very unpredictable with what you're gonna get so this oh my god so worth the freaking price point if you want to buy from Aritzia but it's just a little bit too much then I would definitely at least start off with the sweatpants you can get the matching hoodie later on when you have the money for it but definitely start with the sweatpants these are the best sweatpants I've ever worn in my entire life and I'm not even kidding about that. As you can see, I've definitely worn these and accidentally spilled something on it. I don't know what I did. It definitely shows you how much of a klutz I am. But yeah, these are my absolute favorite, favorite sweats ever. And like I mentioned with the Walmart sweatsuit, you're definitely getting what you pay for. I paid $8 for the Walmart sweatsuit and it was it was all right, it wasn't the thickest thing, but with these, oh my gosh, I do not mind paying the 70 something dollar price point for any of these. I was actually gonna order a black sweatsuit from Aritzia, but they are sold out until I believe November. And then some of the other like really, really nice neutral pastel -y shades are out of stock until like, January and I'm like what the heck is going on but that just shows how popular these sweats are and I know exactly why these are the best and if you don't have a pair go out and get you a pair of Aritzia sweats okay so that's it that's pretty much everything I hope I was pretty clear and I hope you enjoyed the video there's definitely a quality difference between the Walmart and the Aritzia um, sweats and hoodies and everything I didn't get what I expected to get with the Walmart ones I don't know why but I thought that I was gonna get something that was a little bit thicker with the first sweatsuit that I showed you and then I thought I was gonna get something with fleece on the inside when it comes to the champion pants that I showed you in the second outfit and it's crazy because both outfits that I showed you from Walmart are still cheaper than a pair of Aritzia sweatpants that's crazy. But the Aritzia ones, no matter what, will always have a 10 out of 10 for me. These are my favorite pair of sweats ever. I cannot express that enough. They hit it out of the ballpark with their sweats. But yeah, if you like my video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.